Jack Donnelly, Universal Human Rights in Theory and Practice. Embark on an intellectual journey with Jack Donnelly's Universal Human Rights in Theory and Practice, as it illuminates the complexities and foundations of human rights. Donnelly establishes the universality and inalienability of these rights while acknowledging the nuanced variations in their interpretation and application across different societies and times. The book explores the interdependence and indivisibility of rights and delves into the challenging concept of dignity as a cornerstone of the human rights discourse. Gain a deeper understanding of the historical evolution of human rights across various cultures, and the crucial role of international institutions in their promotion and protection. This vital book masterfully elucidates the relationship between human rights, development, and democracy. Understanding Human Rights Human rights are entitlements that every person possesses solely by virtue of being human, granting the holder the power to act upon them. As every person is equal in human dignity, human rights are universal and inalienable, and silently operate until questioning arises. When human rights are questioned, they are often settled in the legal arena, making the law the platform for discussion and action. The Universality and Relativity of Human Rights the concept of human rights is universal, but their interpretation and implementation vary across different social and political environments. Human rights belong to individuals, and the violation of one often leads to the violation of others. The interdependence of human rights confirms their indivisibility and individuality. Human rights protect an individual's membership in society, including their participation in a community or in political life. Despite the universality of human rights principles, specific rights are included in international lists such as the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights ICCPR, due to changing social and political environments and an evolving definition of human dignity. While groups may have rights, human rights belong to individuals. The exception to this rule is the rights of indigenous peoples. The Speculative Foundation of Human Rights Human rights are grounded in the belief that all humans deserve respect and treatment that fosters their moral worth, allowing them to realize their potential. The basis for these rights is speculative and aspirational, rather than factual or theoretical. Needs and capabilities do not provide a helpful basis for human rights. Meanwhile, various notions, such as religious scriptural support and the needs of community life, have been presented as foundations for human rights, but none are irrefutable. Nonetheless, a foundation is not necessary for human rights to exist or hold value. The Moral Purpose of Human Dignity The concept of human dignity serves as a foundational principle for international human rights institutions. It represents the inherent worthiness of all individuals and demands respect. Despite being historically exclusive to the elite classes, the democratization of dignity through human rights has made it a universal value. Dignity connects political ideals with comprehensive moral systems and worldviews, making it a fundamental part of our understanding of justice. By uniting various belief systems under a shared principle, the concept of human dignity remains a crucial component of human rights advocacy. Rethinking Human Rights Categorizing rights as civil-slash-political or social-slash-economic can give way to human rights abuses. Negating rights based on their applicability is unjustified. Humanitarian intervention for the prevention of genocide has emerged as a human right, but presents ethical, legal, and political dilemmas. In today's world, commitment to human rights is integral to political legitimacy. The Emergence of Human Rights Human rights did not exist until the 20th century and were absent in many cultures such as ancient China, African traditional societies, and the Hindu caste system. Islam contains values similar to human rights, but duties do not create rights. In the West, universal dignity did not exist in classical or Judeo-Christian traditions. The notion of human rights began to develop when capitalism and the modern state emerged in Europe, and it was advanced by Immanuel Kant's new understanding of universal, natural human dignity. 
human rights first emerged in the Western world but have become an internationally recognized politically driven process of social learning, empowering free people to build lives of dignity, value, and meaning. Human Rights and Governance The international politics of human rights rest on an agreement to uphold equality in autonomy, generating governance that guarantees entitlements. The book debunks popular myths that Western countries resist social and economic rights, revealing extensive provisions in their policies and agreements. The United Nations General Assembly's adoption of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, UDHR, with no votes in opposition in 1948 later gained the force of law through the International Human Rights Covenants. John Rawls' overlapping consensus explains the acceptance of human rights from different doctrinal foundations. Ronald Dworkin maintains that governments should govern with equal concern and respect, implying citizens' political equality and autonomy. Societies are in agreement on the entitlement to human rights that require governance ensuring equality and autonomy. The book encourages parties to resist anyone obstructing these values. Western acceptance of human rights led to the welfare state and New Deal policies, and a robust commitment to economic and social rights. Upholding Human Rights Global institutions such as the UN Human Rights Council and major treaties promote human rights by generating new norms, monitoring compliance, and providing administrative support and investigation. Regional organizations including the Council of Europe and Inter-American Commission on Human Rights work towards enforcing human rights while nascent organizations in the Middle East and Asia focus on human rights. However, human rights are profoundly anti-democratic, and liberal democracy should subordinate to human rights. Democracy and development can threaten human rights, but economic growth can still coexist with human rights. Markets, by nature, create inequality and fail to account for harm towards disadvantaged people, thus a welfare system must exist alongside markets to ensure justice and respect for human rights. Groups focused on single issues, such as ending slavery, genocide, racial discrimination, and torture, have accomplished a great deal in helping to further the rights of workers, minorities, women, children, the disabled, and indigenous peoples. In Universal Human Rights in Theory and Practice, Jack Donnelly leads readers to a more profound grasp of the significance, implications, and evolution of human rights. The universality and inalienability of these rights are critical, as are the ways they adapt to different societies and historical contexts. We recognize that human rights intertwine with an individual's inherent dignity, drastically shaping political systems and global institutions responsible for safeguarding these entitlements. While nuances and challenges might exist in interpretations, the essence of human rights remains ever-present and irrefutable. Through this fascinating journey, readers will explore how human rights shape cultures, pave the way for more inclusive societies, and ultimately enhance our understanding of the human experience.